Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and got something just a little bit different today. Um, today's Friday so we've got a new a re-release of a Love Notions pattern that's today's Feature Friday and that is the title dress and top. It is so good. I had not made this one up um, but made up a couple, let's see I'm filming this on Thursday so yesterday <laughs> on Wednesday and I actually just kind of did it vlog style um, talking with you guys and that sort of thing. I will pop right now I'll pop real quickly my finished dress and top pictures and um, um, whatnot the footage here <laughs> but I talk more about the pattern when we go to the vlog so I'll wait and get into that um, I just didn't have it in me to do like a real video like this just the world is so heavy right now and not only just our world and our my country and um, but things like my family's fine, but you know, my immediate family, but I have a lot of friends, um, part of my, my group that are going through some tough stuff too. I just feel like it's just been very heavy. So um, I needed a very restorative sewing time yesterday and that four hours just did me personally, for my own mental health, just a world of good, which is what I love about the sewing, um, the sewing hobby. You know, it's just such, it's so great for things like that when there's so much out of our control. Um, and we need to just take a step back and uh, clear our heads. So anyway, <laughs> that is today's. But guys, this pattern is really good. It's $5 today only. I don't think I mentioned in the vlog part what um, I did alteration wise. I can't remember. I shortened the dress and the top an inch above the waist. So not at the lengthened and shortened line. I go right at the waist and I bring that, there's like a notch at the waist and I bring that waist up an inch because I need that for my body. I'm short waisted. And then everything else, like it doesn't get too tight lower on my stomach where it's very unattractive. If I bring that up, it's the smallest part of the waist hits the smallest part of my body, which is what the dress is intended to do. And then I took another inch off the lengthened and shortened line on the dress, the top. I mean, I just left, I just took the one inch out of the top and two inches total out of the dress. Uh, made the size medium with the full bust, short sleeves on the dress, long sleeves on the um, top. And on the top, I shortened those sleeves by an inch. And I think that those are perfect. Um, used cotton jersey, cotton spandex jersey for both. Um, yeah, I think that's it. The orange fabric came from Stylemaker Fabrics. I don't think they have that color anymore, but I will link their cotton jersey down below because it is lovely. And the um, kind of the sherbet pinky color, coral color came from June and Lou. If she has any more of that, I will um, link that down below as well. Okay, I think that's all I've got. I will go to the vlog now and uh, make sure you grab, oh, Tomcat 10 gets you an additional 10% off that $5 um, pattern sale, which is very exciting. Uh, but it's a great little summer dress and uh, yeah, I'll take you on over there now so I'm not repeating myself. <laughs> okay, <laughs> have a good Friday guys. Get some sewing in and I will see you all next time. Bye. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and uh, decided to do a little vlog style type video for today in conjunction with the new re-release um, or the re-release of, um, well, it's not a new, it's just or a new Love Notions pattern. It's the re-release of the Love Notions title dress and top. <laughs> it's gone to the new block. She's been going through and systematically doing um, updates on all of the previous patterns. All the new patterns are released on the new um block that they their drafting block um in the full size range with all the bells and whistles you know full bus versus standard bus all that jazz uh but she's going back and doing the entire catalog of older patterns so i think the plan is to have all of the older patterns up to date by the end of this year i'm pretty sure anyway the title is up this week so today it is um five dollars today only which is very exciting today is the uh 27th of may <laughs> And um, yeah, so that's very exciting. You can use Tomcat 10 for an additional 10% off of even that $5 pattern. Um, the pattern comes with um, three different dress lengths um, or like lengths. So it's got a top, a knee length dress and a maxi dress. It comes with long sleeves, short sleeves and sleeveless versions. So bands and binding, depending on how you want to finish that off. And let's see. Yeah. Beautiful shaping with um, princess seams. 
that go down the front. I'm very excited to try this. I've never actually made this pattern up. So um, I'm very excited to see how it compares to the Pattern Emporium um, Wanderlust dress. They seem very similar to me, other than this title pattern has um, the seams, um, the princess seams that go down the full front of the, the garment, which is amazing for color blocking. I've seen so many cool versions um, of testers. I wasn't a tester for this one, but um, the Basecamp app that we use, I can, well, no, I shouldn't say that. I was added to the tester group just if any of the ambassadors wanted the files to be able to make, make some up before um, the big re-release, they gave us access to that. So that's how I could see that, I guess. But anyway, <laughs> so um, there's some really cool tester versions that are coming through though. So perfect for color blocking. So great for those um, random scraps of fabric that you have and you're not sure what to do with it. Maybe a print that you really, really love. You can pair it with a solid or even pair it with like a different print if you wanted to get fancy with the print mixing. Um, anyway, I thought that today, so I'm filming this on Wednesday. This may go over into Thursday as well. I'm not sure yet. You'll know by the end of this whole section. Um, I just need, I need my sewing room. Um, the world is so, I mean, the world is heavy if you really get into it all the times, but gosh, lately, the world, my country, um, things that are happening, and then even as it gets smaller, you know, like in my community, just with my, my friend group. Luckily, everything in my own personal family is fine right now, but I just feel like I've been being hit with bad news of others from bad news from bad news, and it just feels heavy. And um, I know I'm not alone in that, and I thought, you know what, I could use just, let's just do a, a sewing day, like a restorative, therapeutic sewing day. I don't think this is a hard pattern. And I've pulled, I'll show you what I'm going to use here in just a second. But I thought, you know, sometimes these vlog type videos are kind of fun anyway, where I can just be more chatty than normal. <laughs> normal. I also, um, I am on, I take thyroid medicine and I have for, oh my gosh, uh, since 2008. So 15 years, 14 years. Um, because I, it's another one of my autoimmune, but I have to be on medication, two different medications to regulate my thyroid so that it works properly. And I am currently, I ran out of, I get like a three month supply every time. And one of them is they can't, they're having a hard time getting, which my husband's like, oh my gosh, I just saw a story on the news about that, about supply chain issues with drugs that aren't normally hard to get. Um, medications that aren't normally hard to get, but they're having issues just because of the supply chain and stuff. So I'm like, cool, cool. So I've been completely without any thyroid medicine for four or five days now, and I am really feeling the effects of that. When you've had your thyroid regulated um, and that not been an issue at all, and then it's not being regulated, I yeah, I'm having extreme fog brain. Like I'm, yeah, I'm forgetting things. I'm <laughs> It's, it's been really yesterday was the worst day, really horrible headache. Um, really thirsty. I've been drinking a lot of water, which then means I'm in the bathroom a ton and, um, just super tired, like extreme fatigue. Uh, and then yesterday I noticed that my feet were getting really, really cold. Um, so those are all like thyroid issue problems, um, symptoms. So anyway, I thought, you know what, instead of trying to, you know, do a fancy video, not that they're fancy, but you know what I mean? I'm just gonna do a vlog for today. So this may actually end up being a long video because you know how I can talk. But anyway, I've printed out my title. I need to go tape it together. And I have grabbed for this first version, um, I have a growing pile of fabric on a chair outside by my cutting table that desperately needs to be put away. But I bought, it's in two separate instances. This is a cotton spandex and this like tangerine color from Stylemaker Fabrics. And I bought, gosh, I don't even know how much I have here, but I bought it from the remnant section. She had like three bright colors that were cotton spandex, but they weren't like her normal cotton spandex line. So they didn't show up on the, you know, all the millions of colors, not millions, but she's got a lot of colors of her cotton spandex. That's beautiful. So this was like a little, um, probably something that she was able to grab like overstock or whatever. And there were three colors. It was this color. Um, that lime green that I made my Carlisle out of, and then a purple that I also have um, sitting over there. I think my daughter's gonna get it. I don't know. Some of our purples kind of can kind of cross over into one another. But um, anyway, I grabbed remnants. So this color is not available 
But again, I'll link her cotton spandex jersey down below because it's all of it's great and it comes in so many colors. But I have two separate pieces of the same fabric. This one does not have much on it at all. Like maybe, I don't even think a full yard. But um, because this pattern, no, it's not even a full, like maybe three quarters of a yard, two thirds of a yard. Um, anyway, I thought that I would make the above the knee version uh, with the short sleeves and um, thought we I would give that a go and see how I like this pattern and thought I would just use this fabric because it was just sitting there and I thought a solid dress in this beautiful color would be lovely. Oddly enough, this was also sitting next to some um, uh, coral knit. It was a scrap of the coral knit that I've got, um, I made my other Carlisle out of that you guys have seen, but um, I love these colors together. It reminds me of sherbet, like the rainbow sherbet that you could get um, in the summertime. And while I was kind of thinking my summer colors, I don't have access to the summer capsule yet, but I'm just kind of thinking, usually there's some crossover from like spring colors into the summer um, so that you can reuse quite a few things. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking of retiring most of my navy pieces, mostly because the pieces that are currently in my wardrobe that are navy are like my glissando pants. And while I can wear those for the summer because they're linen, um, usually when it gets into the heat of the summer, I opt, if I'm going to have like separates on, I opt for shorts instead of pants. Not always, but a lot of times. So I'm thinking I'm going to do more of a cobalt, dark cobalt blue as my neutral with the cream. So we'll see with the red. So I'm going to keep that in there. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. Or should I just kind of go more orange with like a coral and the green, the spring green, keep the spring green in there? That could be fun, very sherbet-y. I don't know, I'm going back and forth. So anyway, <laughs> I am going to cut this out and then I will um, probably just come back on here. I don't know that there's gonna be any tips and usually when I do videos like this, if I think of like some tips or tricks as I'm sewing, I'll come back on here, but I don't know that there, I mean, this is a very straightforward sew. Um, my thought was, I'm gonna make this dress, see how I like it, and if I love it, I may make myself a sleeveless dress um, and some other knit fabric in the stash. I have a really cool print that is coming from Minerva at some point. I don't know if it'll be here today or not, um, I'm not gonna bank on it just in case, but I thought if I really liked the dress, I could either make myself another sleeveless dress or maybe I can make myself a top. Or I think the maxi dress, I don't wear maxi really, but my Wanderlust dresses are like a T length. So they're like in between kind of a maxi, a midi and a maxi. Um, but I do like that length on me where it hits like mid shin. And um, I thought, well, maybe I could make myself a longer one even. So those are my thoughts. Um, but yeah, thought I'd just take you guys along for the ride. Um, today's my kid's last day of school. So, um, yeah, come tomorrow. They're home. They're home. Uh, they've got, they're taking PE two this summer. So the summer school starts, I think on Tuesday next week after the, um, holiday. If you're in the U S Memorial day is on Monday. So on Tuesday, I think their summer school does start, uh, which they're just taking it online. Um, and they also have driver's ed they need to finish up. <laughs> That's all online as well. So, so they can get to the driving portion. So that is kind of in the personal life, um, what is going on. So I am going to let you go so that I can cut this out. See, a lot of brain fog here. Cut this out and then I will um, come back and, and show you roughly. But I'll, at the end of the video, I'll do like some modeled um, shots, some styled and modeled shots with um, what I'm going to make. So we'll just kind of see where it takes us. So this will be a surprise for you at the end of the video too. <laughs> but I'll definitely do some styled shots. Um, I'll get some of those tomorrow. Um, so yeah, you can have those. Okay, let's get sewing. Okay, hopefully sound quality is okay because I'm on my phone. All right, so I've made the short sleeve dress. Um, this is so cute. It's hard to see in the solid, but there's a seam that wraps from the back around to the front. And I think, I can't see myself in the back. I will be able to see, obviously, in this footage without, like, completely distorting myself. Um, this is a cotton jersey, um, cotton spandex jersey. I really like it. So I haven't done any of the hems yet. So actually, those sleeves will be at a little bit more flattering spot. I've got the hem pressed in, but I've not sewn that up. And I need to hem the skirt still, 
which will put it, I think, just right above my knee, which I think is going to be about just like right there, <laughs> which I think will be just perfect. What a wonderful little t-shirt dress. I've been sleeping on this one, folks. Um, yeah, I think this is going to be real easy breezy for the summer. So I am going to, I think, trying to decide if I want to cut out a top, a solid top, and I'm thinking of just doing this color again, um, or I could do part of it in this color and the other part in kind of a coral color. I don't know how I feel about the color blocked in one garment. I'm trying to decide. I think I have just enough, if I did the top, to do the front piece in the coral, and then I could do the rest in this kind of a, a sherbet color. I'm also thinking of printing out the long sleeve and just doing a top um, of printing out the long sleeve and making them three quarter and see if I can squeeze that onto my fabric. So I may do that. That could be fun. And I'm just basically using scraps at this point. So yeah, maybe I'll try that. So I'm going to go print off the top as a separate, um, pieces. Uh, some of the stuff overlaps. I'm going to print the other sleeve as well. So I'm going to go do that and then I'll come back and show you guys the finished shirt as well. But I'm really enjoying this. Okay, I'll be back. <laughs> okay, here's my top. I decided to go with the, this is the leftovers from my Foz um, that I did. And then I had a little bit more of the um, Got a lot of wrinkles at the moment. I think it's because, sorry, ADD brain, sorry. <laughs> um, well, this is the same fabric as the dress. And I now just have minimal scraps of this orange, which is lovely. So this is the top, it needs to be hemmed. I've shortened it one inch above, so I, I pulled the waist up one inch, so I shortened it at the waist and up. Um, I've got a little wrinkles like on the sleeves, but I'm also thinking that's because I shortened the sleeves by an inch but they haven't been hemmed yet. I was gonna do a three quarter length sleeve and just kind of make up my own cut line. But um, I decided in the summer, you know, I can just do that and it might be better. Uh, that way if I'm out in the sun, I can pull them down for coverage. So this will need to be hemmed an inch all the way around. Um, the, sh the top also comes, you can cut it on the fold or I'll turn around, you can cut it on the fold, or you can do a seam that has some um, shaping. So if you're using maybe a ponte or something like that, or something a little thicker that has less drape, you can um, use the center back seam and just get a little bit more shaping so it's not as boxy. But I think cut on the fold is perfect for this uh, cotton spandex, and both these fabrics are uh, cotton spandex. They're not the same fabric, but um, both are cotton spandex. So anyway, I think... You can also see the um, style lines a lot better on this. I don't know, there's just something about these two fabrics together that they were kind of next to each other in the drawer and they were singing to me. I used the rest of this and I just have minimal scraps of the orange now left. So uh, loving it. Okay, I'm gonna flip you around and talk to you. Okay, so I'm loving, I think this is kind of fun. We'll see how much I wear this. Um. My fabric is also wrinkly because it was smushed up into a drawer and cotton spandex wrinkles just like regular cotton. So um, I do need to hit it with a steamer or whatever. And I'm going to top stitch my neckband down because um, that's kind of coming up right now. I still need to hem my sleeves in the bottom and the same with my dress. So I just need to put um, some of the thread that is this color onto a bobbin. So I have two <laughs> um, spools to pull from on my cover stitch machine. So that's what I'm going to do next. Um, but you should have seen this already in its full and final form styled. So I'm excited to see how this goes. And I'm loving my dress is going to get worn so much this summer. It's just an easy summer knit dress. So I think my final, let's talk about the difference between this and the Wanderlust. I mean, so the back, it's cut on the fold and the back wraps around to the front for this um, princess seam. And uh, so it's really fun for um, color blocking and that sort of thing. I mean, I could have done, well, I didn't have a fabric, but, you know, I could have done this in the orange. I could have done this in the pink. You can, you know, 
the sleeves in the pink, whatever. Um, it's really easy and fun, I think, to mix and match this one. So that makes it different than the Wanderlust. The shape is very similar, I would say, um, as far as being just kind of a fit and flare with no waist seam type of dress. So very flattering. Um, it gives a waist, illusion of a waist where there isn't one. Um, the Wanderlust is maybe a little less busy just because it's just a front and a back. The back is cut on. You do have a seam in the back of the Wanderlust for shaping, just like this dress. Um, but the front, I mean, obviously you don't have the seam line. So if you're wanting something a little more streamlined, maybe. The perk of this pattern of the title, number one, it's $5 today, <laughs> which is a great price. But you also get, um, uh, well, you get multiple links on the Wanderlust, but you get the top version, which is different than from the Wanderlust. So, um, yeah, you get maybe a couple more options with this than the Wanderlust, but, um, yeah, I'd say a pretty similar pattern. So, um, I mean, if you were on the fence about which one to buy, I would maybe grab the $5 one today, but, um, in any other time, it just kind of depends on if you want the option to color block or not. So, um, yeah, that's my big suggestion on that. Um, also this comes with a full bust already done. I had to do a full bust adjustment on the Wanderlust. So, um, just keep that in mind. Um, I think that's kind of it, but I am very glad that I've tried this one out. I'm loving both of these versions. I could see this being really fun and a beautiful print. And I actually, um, placed a Minerva order. Oh, I was pre-ordering. I was like, why was I placing a Minerva order? I was pre-ordering some of their, um, they have, are releasing, I don't think it comes out or I don't think it's shipping till July maybe, but they have put, um, pre-order for their own range of, uh, viscose chalet, which is like a rayon chalet fabrics. And a lot of them are in my color palette. <laughs> and so I purchased, I think four, but I think one of them I purchased for my daughter, if I'm re remembering correctly. Anyway, while I was on there, I just grabbed a pretty print because I knew that this test was coming up. It did not get here in time, but I think I may still make it up in that, um, print. And then I also ordered another really cool knit that I'm going to be using for sleeves for a different top, an Adrian blouse that I'm going to make. That Diane sent me a picture of an inspiration picture for, um, of someone else's Adrian blouse that she had seen, I think, on a Facebook group. And I can't wait to make it. So, <laughs> okay, that's all I've got for today. Um, I tell you, it's amazing. And I was only down here for four hours today. Um... It's amazing what a sewing afternoon can do for body, mind, and soul. Also got a call from the pharmacy and my medicine is in. So that's all it took was for me to take an afternoon to sew to get my medicine to come in. So I'm going to go pick that up um, when I go pick up my daughter because they were, she and her friends were going to walk down from the high school. Our high school is only a couple blocks um, up from our downtown in our town. So she and some of her friends, a group, were going to walk from school to downtown um, and get some ice cream and stuff after school. It's kind of a little celebration. So I will have to go pick her up later and I'll pick up my medicine then. So things are looking up, folks. Things are looking up. Okay, things for going forward for the channel. Um, I've got on my cutting table next, I'm going to be doing a sew the look that I really want to get onto that. Um, what else? I have a really fun video coming up the first Friday of June. I think it's June 3rd where I'm making, um, a smaller announcement, just something kind of fun. And then, um, but I've got a whole video that's going in conjunction with that. That's I think going to be a, a big one. Um, it's been a big one to research and I think it's going to be a big, I think you guys are really, really going to like it. So that's on June 3rd. Um, what else do we have going on? And then in June, once Me Made May is over, I'm going to have a Me Made May roundup next week as well on Tuesday, even though that will be the last day of May. I'm going to go ahead and do my Me Made May roundup, um, just kind of my thoughts and stuff on that. I'll be having a summer capsule wardrobe plans video. I'm really hoping I'm not going to need to buy fabric at all, or if I have to buy anything, just maybe a couple pieces of like solid stuff. What are the odds? <laughs> Um, so yeah, we've got a lot of fun things. So definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And, um, I hope you enjoyed this. I'll be back on Sunday for another week four, I guess, me and me made May roundup of wearing my spring capsule. 
and then uh yeah we got a lot of a lot of fun things going on here soon so make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already okay that's all i have for today i hope you've enjoyed this i hope you get some sewing in this weekend especially if you are in the united states and you have a long weekend i hope you have beautiful weather wherever you are and i also hope you're able to get a little me time in a little time at the machine i am definitely going to be uh trying to schedule some in for myself because this just this four hours was worked some wonders on my mood and my demeanor and my outlook. So <laughs> it's good for the soul, folks. All right, that's all I've got. I'll quit chatting at you. I will see you guys um, Sunday. All right, bye.